Hi, this is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and today I'm going to show you how to install a PCI Express graphics card. Okay, so you've got a slightly aging PC, and you want to upgrade it a little bit, but you don't want to spend a fortune, so what are you going to do? Well, first thing to do is upgrade the graphics card, especially if you're playing games or doing anything uh, audio-visual. Now, the choice here today is going to be the uh, Zotac GeForce GTX 780, which is uh, effectively a budget card nowadays. That one cost me about £120 or about $130, and will dramatically improve the gameplay experience on the PC. So. Let's see what we need to install one of these cards. First thing you're going to need, screwdriver. Preferably magnetic tipped, so the screws uh, don't fall off and go everywhere. So that's the first thing. Uh, another thing you may need is a set of side cutters to cut any cable ties that may or may not be inside the PC, uh, stopping you from moving cable in around. Uh, and on that note, also some cable ties so that when you've redone the job, you can cable tie up the wires and keep them all out of the way of any fans or any other spinning items. Also you may need a uh, PCI Express adapter which is two Molex cables into PCI Express 6 pin. On this card you need a 6 pin and 8 pin so I've got two but fortunately my power supply has the uh, required bits and pieces on it so it's not going to be a problem. That's one thing to check before you buy a graphics card or if you're looking at a graphics card and a power supply make sure your power supply has the uh, recommended wattage and connectors for the graphics card that you buy. Let's carry on and have a look inside the PC. Okay, so here is the PC. This is my uh, trusty old Antec 900 case. Well, it's actually a 902, the revised model, but uh, still a pretty nice case and gives you a bit of room to work inside. So first thing to do, cross-head screwdriver and remove the two screws from the side panel. Put the two screws somewhere safe so you don't lose them. Now carefully remove the side panel from the PC and put the panel somewhere where it's not going to get in the way. Okay, so here we are, there's the inside of the PC and what we're going to looking for is our PCI Express graphics card slot. Now this particular motherboard has a blue coloured slot, uh, if you can just see, we'll pick that up in a little bit later with a close up. Now that is where the graphics card is going to sit. Now the PCI Express has normally got a release tag, which in this one is just a, a flip tag. So all we need to do is when we put the card in is lift that tag up so the card sits in and we'll then that will lock it into place. On the side of the case, there'll be some uh, cross headed screws and these are for retaining any cards which you put inside the PC. So in this instance, we're gonna need to remove two for our graphics card because it requires a double slot. This is the graphics card. This is the Zoltac GTX 780 from Nvidia. Uh, it's a triple fan design. Just so I'll point out, that is the PCI Express connection slot. That is the sides where the screws go in to retain the card. And on the rear, you have your connections for uh, DisplayPort, HDMI, and DVI-D. So the card now needs to go in the PC this way up. So it goes in like that. You can see just here is the power connectors six pin and eight pin PCI Express power. This card needs quite a lot of power, so we're gonna to need to use both of those. So taking our cross-headed screwdriver, we're gonna remove the two screws so we can put the card in. If you can get your hands in there to uh, help the screws out, it's better just in case they do drop. In this instance, my power supply is facing up, uh, so if I drop a screw, it's gonna land in the power supply, which is never a good thing. And now we're gonna remove the second screw. Again, making sure we don't drop it inside the PC. Now we've removed the screws, now we can line up the graphics card and see if it will actually fit. Yeah, we've got just about enough room there, so we're good to go. Carefully slot in the graphics card, matching up the PCI Express edge connector with the PCI Express connector on the motherboard. Push the card in firmly until you hear it click into position. If there's a graphics card retainer, give the card a wiggle just to make sure the card's secure and isn't gonna fall out. Yep, we're in pretty good. Next thing to do is to connect up our PCI Express power connectors to the graphics card. Now, as you can probably see from uh, this layout, the connectors are in the right place anyway, but you may have to fish them out from your power supply or if they're cable tied towards the bottom of the PC somewhere or the rear in fact. So the eight pin connector goes to the right hand side of the graphics card and the six pin connector goes to the left hand side. So here you can see there's the power supply power connectors. Now we'll do the right hand side one first. So this is our eight pin connector. 
and push the connector in until it clicks into place or it feels like it's secure. Give it a small wiggle just to make sure it's not gonna come loose. And then we're gonna use our six pin connector in the other side. Again, using some firm pressure, attach the Gerfitz card cable and give it a small wiggle to make sure that the connector is in place. So that's our graphics card installed with the PCI Express power connectors and we're all ready to put the case back on and fire it up. So we're gonna use our screws that we took out just now and we're gonna attach this to the side here to make sure the card doesn't come loose. Now we're gonna use our screwdriver with the magnetic tip. As you can see, I've got the screw on there already and we're gonna fasten the graphics card in and with the magnetic tip, we don't have to worry about this screw falling into the power supply, but be careful, you never know. Adjust the graphics card slightly if need be so the holes line up and attach a screw. With a two screw device, do the first screw lightly, then put the second screw in. Putting the screw in loosely will give room for a little bit of adjustment should you need to, so that your connectors match up on the back of the case. When you're happy the card's in and it's in the right place, you can then tighten up the screws fully. With the screws fully tightened, we can now put the side panel of the PC back on. Line up the side panel and then lock it into position. We're now ready to reattach the case side using the screws that we put to one side earlier. Again, with our magnetic screwdriver. If you haven't got a magnetic screwdriver, it's worth investing in one if you're gonna be doing PC work. You will find it a lot easier in the long run. That's how to install a PCI Express graphics card in a modern PC. If you've got any questions or comments, please feel free to put them in the comments section below. I've been Mike, this is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and we'll see you again in the next video. Thanks for watching.